Hello and welcome to a summer edition of uh, our Gotham Sound TV. Um, so uh, I'm excited. It's August 1st uh, and we are here talking with Jeff Lady of Tascam. Jeff, welcome. Hi. Hey. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, so uh, you've brought a couple of products to show. We have. Um, and I like this because it's, it's literally small to, to, you know, like small one track recorder or one input recorder um, to 64 track recorder and some interesting, an interesting product in between. Mm -hmm. um, show us what, what, uh, what do you got. Let's start small first. Start small. Okay. The uh, DR10L is a brand new uh, recorder for us. It's a uh, belt, uh, belt clip recorder so this is this is the entire recorder and it comes with a lavalier mic although mm -hmm. it's a uh, Sennheiser standard so import. anything wired for Sennheiser Sen so any, any Sennheiser yeah, okay. will work with that but it comes with with a microphone nice and it's just a simple uh, single input recorder mm -hmm. records to a micro SD card uh -huh. and it'll record for eight hours on a single AAA battery uh-huh uh and any way, like how would you envision people uh, using that? Um, for an event recording, like uh, like a wedding video or a conference or something where you just clip it on the talent, mm -hmm. you hit record, and then at the end of the day you, you get that recording back and um, take the, take the wave files off. And there's, there's no time code uh, on this, no, no time SMPTE code. time code? No. Um, so presumably somebody would use Pluralize or some functionality like sure, that. Sure, sure. Which is built into a lot of video editors now. Exactly. Yeah. Um, cool. Cool. And it has uh, auto gain level, or you can set the set the level. Mm -hmm. It has a low cut filter and limiting. Mm -hmm. It also has our dual recording feature, uh -huh. where it'll record a copy of your audio at a lower level. So if it distorts, then you have a backup that's not distorted. Right. So so I, I that's sort of what I had in mind when I corrected myself about it being a one track record. It's two, it can do two tracks. One is a couple of dB down. Is right. That right. Yeah. That's that's great. Yeah, that's I think up to eighteen dB down. So you can set it. Yes. That's uh, that's fantastic. Um, and in terms of, you know, uh, there's issues sometimes with um, internal accuracy, you know, in terms of long recordings and long video files. Have you guys done tests at all? Is it, is it I mean, it's, it's, a wild it's a wild recording. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, we do use uh, very high quality clock, mm -hmm. um, internal clock, especially for the products that are designed for use with video. Beautiful. And there's a, a headphone out, I see. There's a headphone out, yeah, so you could you could plug that into a pair of headphones or... To, to check the lav. Right. Um, the, there's some controversy about these record, recorders. Um, I hope it's okay that I can reference some controversy okay. about these recorders. Does the headphone out work while it's recording? It does. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Uh, and so, uh, street price? Uh, $199. Fantastic. That's great. Wow. Uh, all right. That's um, cute. Anything else you want to add about it? Uh, shipping no, I now, think. Shipping now, I think. Yeah, right? shipping now. I like the screen. It's nice and it's nice and bright. Yeah, just just a real simple, compact uh, recorder. Uh, you know, kind of a problem solver, or a, or you can even use that as a backup. You know, if you're doing a long, a really long shot of somebody, you know, on a horse in the desert, mm -hmm. you can just wire them up and uh, and hit yeah. record. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, I would I would love to go on that film location. Yeah, that sounds like a great film. Um, all right, thank all right. you very much. Okay. Um, so let's move on to what I'll call the the middle product that you're showing okay. us. Okay. Uh, tell me about tell me about that. Sure. This is the SSR 250N. Uh huh. So this is the latest generation of our uh, solid state recording for uh, for a rack mount application. So um, it has both balanced and unbalanced line in and out. Yeah. Also a microphone preamp, so you could record a microphone directly into this. Uh -huh. um, and there's digital in and out as well. Um, it records to an SD card. There's two SD card slots on uh -huh. the front. And you can record to either of those or both simultaneously. Mm -hmm. It also has a USB jack on the front to record to a uh, USB stick. That's great. And uh, and again, you can do record to SD and USB sticks simultaneously if you want. Or when it runs out of room on one SD card, switch over to the other SD card. 
Um, Interesting. And I see some the, um, on the back here, which I'm just going to rotate. Okay. Um, very carefully so that people can get a sense. That's yeah. Um, All right. So here's the uh, the audio in and out, mm -hmm. analog and digital, then the mm -hmm. digital in and out. Mm -hmm. Over here there's a uh, RS-232 jack, which we have hooked up to a remote that I'll talk to and talk about in a minute. You can record, you can control it through RS-232, through uh, power, parallel, through ethernet, mm -hmm. and then uh, there's also a uh, iPhone or Android app that you can use to uh, control it. Uh, very cool, and um, if we switch back to that, um, Shot, whoop, sorry. Um, the option card, what kind of options can go we on We make a Dante card for this uh, recorder. It's a okay. two-channel Dante in and out, and uh, it's actually the least expensive uh, solution for recording stereo Dante. Interesting. So um, speaking of uh, least expensive, what, what would be a street price? Street price on this is $799. And then we make a second version that has a CD burner as well, and that one's $9.99. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So if somebody wants to burn a CD at the end of the day and hand it, I mean, it's, it's, CDs are nice because the media is so cheap yeah. that you can burn a CD and hand it to somebody, and if you're, if you're doing a job, that's a, that's a real cheap and easy way to hand off your uh, production. Sure. Um, uh, yeah, all right. All right. Uh, interesting. I, I do not uh, mourn the death of optical. Yeah. But not I for, understand not some for everybody, need it. but some people still like it, yeah. Um, so this is interesting to me for, for a couple of reasons, because um, we do get calls from time to time from corporate AV mm -hmm. um, type installations where they want to record a meeting and then have the files available on a, you know, immediately um, on a flash drive. The network is just control on this, is that No, right? it's actually a FTP client and a server. So it can go right to the, the corporate chair. Yes, you can you can set it up so that as soon as you hit stop, it uploads to a network. Mm -hmm. You can also set it on a scheduled record. So every Thursday from three o'clock to four o'clock, record this meeting, then upload it to a server, and then delete it off the disk to keep room on there. So installing it in a um, you know a church or a, a school, college, right? Um, anything that has regular meetings like that. Happily record and mm -hmm. upload automatically. And then you can also push files to it, so you can. Um, if you have it remotely installed somewhere, you can log into the unit, get your files off, push new files to it. Yeah. Um, for retail, for a lot of lot of different applications for it. Interesting. Um, and the application that caught my eye as well was on the playback side. Um, and I think Jared, here's where if we can cut to the overhead. Um, yeah, it comes uh, as an option. It has right. this. Um, uh, nifty um, remote control. So tell me about this. Jeff. Yeah, so this is the RC SS150 and it is a remote control for the SSR250N and SSR, SSCDR250N. Mm -hmm. It has 12 flash trigger um, buttons mm -hmm. and a full, screen, uh, full color LCD screen mm -hmm. and uh, you can actually load your tracks into flash memory so that they start playing immediately. So if I press uh, one, of, one of these buttons, it's going to play back that sound effect. Do you, guys hear, do you guys hear that? Oh. Let's try that one more time. Sure. Oh, it's actually in. Uh, so. There's a sound effect. Yeah. OK. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> All right. Um, excellent. So uh, it's pretty. It's very fast. It's almost instantaneous. Yes. Yeah. That's that's what the so the load button loads the first few seconds of each track into uh, the buffer, so that when you press a button, it immediately starts playing, and you get the twelve flash start buttons and uh, eight pages. So a total of ninety six tracks that are In right, ready to go. Interesting. My background is uh, film record. You know, film production. Right. Um, and. You know, funnily enough, there was a string of movies I did where I had to play instantaneously the other side of a phone conversation. Um, and this, I think, would be perfect for that. Um, almost to the point where you can give this remote to the director and they can just sort of play along. Um, sure, just pre -edited load HQ. each line as yeah. a separate recording. Yeah. Um, and it gives you complete uh, random access um, 
you know, so you can, if they do a pickup, it's not like you're, you know, sort of fretting on a, on a linear timeline. Yeah, that's, a, that's a Where the queue is. Um, but there are, there are software versions of this. Talk to me about why somebody would want this as a dedicated product. Well, Tascam uh, recorders and players are just very reliable. Mm -hmm. um, they're designed for, for daily use professionally, and um, so it, it's just a very reliable way to set it up. It's a dedicated control, so you don't have to load up a, a program. It, it, when, you, when you switch on the recorder, it's, 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 it's start ready to start using in, in a few seconds. So uh, there's a lot to be said for having a, a dedicated piece of hardware for something that you're going to be using all the time. Perfect. That's great. Um, thank you. I think um, I think I'd like to move on to the 6400 if you're okay, okay with that. Yeah. Um, so the 6400 is a uh, multi-track uh, recorder, um, 64 tracks, mm -hmm. um, and you know one of the things we were talking about before we were live was. Um, Tascam's been in the multi-track uh, recorder game for a little bit, right? I yeah. mean, I go back to the DA88. Right. Um, well, we actually start before that in yeah. the uh, in the 70s. Um, TAC is the oh. parent company for Tascam, and they came out with some four tracks back when uh, the people cassette, were doing the cassette. Well, even before cassette, they were doing reel-to-reel, oh. -reel uh -huh. so that you could listen to your quadraphonic reel-to-reel -reel tapes. Wow! Uh, in in your uh, little audiophile room, yeah. And then uh, people started t discovering that you could record on individual tracks, and there was a sync head, so you could record on track one, rewind and record on track two. So that gave birth to the entire home recording mm -hmm. uh, concept. And uh, so after the reel-to-reels, we had the, uh, the multi-track Porta Studios, and uh, on and on through the years, 16-track, 24-track. Um, the D88 was our first uh, digital recorder uh -huh. that recorded to Hi8 tape. I remember, and for, um, God, what it, it wasn't formatting the tapes, but you had to stripe them, right? Um, like Pre-record them. I think you had to black, format them, black, too. Yeah, format yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, reform them and stripe yeah. them. And then now for the same price you get um, the D6400 is recording to an SSD drive uh, 64 tracks. So eight times the tracks, but same price. Same price, I yes. wonder if inflation tracks that way from those Right, ones. yeah. Um, that's, so, that, so let's start to get into the features. So 64 tracks. Right. Um, and in a single rack, mm -hmm. uh, obviously. Um, and where do those audio sources come from? Well, it, uh, it comes with no I.O. standard. Uh -huh. So when you buy it, you have to buy an I.O. card. Okay. And uh, the, the I.O. cards that we have are Dante, uh -huh. Maddy, uh -huh. and aes -EBU. Oh, okay. So those are, your, those are your choices for getting in and out of it. Got it. So uh, it's, it's, it, and it records all 64 at once. It's not a multi-track where you can record, uh, rewind and record on track 14. Sure. It's designed for a event recording. So for a mobile truck, uh, award shows, um, mm -hmm. reality shows that have a lot of, uh, a lot of lavalier microphones running around the beach that uh, you want to keep them all in one place. Sure, and since it was on Facebook, I assume it's not a secret. Um, this was just at the Newport Jazz Festival. Yes. Uh, yeah, recording all the stages mm -hmm. there. Um, Steve Remote, shout out to Steve. Right. Um, also at the Monterey Pop Festival. Uh huh. I was recording to this. So h high um, reliability events, events that require absolute um, fail safe, high reliability. Yes. And so along those lines, you guys have done something interesting with the media that r it records to. Right. So it is an SSD drive in the um, in, in the drive, but we developed our own hard drive. And the reason mm -hmm. that we did that was that we would test some drives because we, we normally, on, on our recorders, we test media. Sure. And so you can go to our website and you can see, well, by this SanDisk card that we've, we've tested it and approved it. Right. Um, but on the SSD drives, we started seeing that one batch would be okay and then the next batch they would change some controller chip yes. on the hard drive and yes. it wouldn't be okay anymore. Yeah. So rather than telling you, well, by this, drive but only this batch, right. we actually started manufacturing our own, our own hard drives mm -hmm. because we want it to be absolutely reliable for if you're recording eight hours, 64 tracks, we don't want the drive to stop and say, hang on, I need to do some uh, some sort of housekeeping sure, and then right. it drops this out of the court. my garbage collection right. or whatever, yeah. So, so, um, so yeah, we have our own, uh, it comes with a 240 
gig drive, and uh -huh. then we have a 480 gig available and as well. And they're cartridges? They're, uh, they're, they're standard SSD uh -huh. drives, yeah. And they just fit right in the machine? Okay. Right, so there's a, um, there's a hard drive caddy here. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this backwards. Huh. <laughs> there it goes. So here is the, uh, the SSD caddy, and the caddy has, uh, has USB 3 jack right on the front. So you can hand this to a client, Sweet. and they can plug it into their computer and, and drag all the files off. Sweet. But if I take the, uh, take the lid off, that is our, uh, our SSD drive. Uh, that's great. That's, and yeah. for, uh, I know it's hard to read, but it's Tascam branded. It's a Tascam branded drive. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. That, and, I, and believe me, um, we do Red. lots of... Um, there it is. Yeah, we okay. do lots of media recovery here. And yeah, it's super frustrating when uh, somebody uses qualified quote-unquote media um, but you know the firmware changed or the batch changed or something or some component is different right. and yeah now it doesn't keep up. Yeah and that just doesn't work for our application. You know multi-track audio is actually more it. difficult on hard drives than uh, video is even because yeah. video is one long stream and audio is being scattered all across the drive all at once. So let's talk about file formats and, mm -hmm. and let's start with sample rates. Um, I assume it does 44, 1 and 48. 41, uh, yeah, up to 96 kilohertz. Uh -huh. It just drops the uh, track count in half when you go to 96. Got it. And um, what was the other question? Um, so broadcast wave. Broadcast wave right, files, uh, yes. So real honest to goodness, and we'll flip this around in a second, uh, honest to goodness, simply time code. Yes. And word clock external sync if you want. Of course, yeah. Um, and broadcast wave mono, it sounds like. It's, it's yeah, it records all mono tracks. Yep. Um, and uh, any metadata for the film folks that might be interested in using no, this? No metadata on this one yet. OK. All right. So really just for, um, it sounds like primarily for music or other multi-track um, events um, yes. that, it, that's, that's that the require main. high reliability. That's, that's what we were going for let's, at, at the launch. Sure. Let's take a look at the okay. back. Spinning around. Uh, all right. so, so yeah, over here you can see the two option card slots. So um, we have the, uh, the Dante card installed. Mm -hmm. And the Dante has the primary and secondary um, right. routes so that yeah. you can have that for reliability. The MADI card that we have, we actually have two MADI cards. One's just a simple BNC in and out. Mm -hmm. The other one has BNC and optical. And uh -huh. then there's a BNC through, which is a true redundant through. Huh. So even if something happens to the recorder, it will still pass the audio through. from in to through. So you could use that as a backup recorder for a live event or sure. for, uh, for a DAW recording. That's great. That's really nice. Uh, and. So single single power supply here. Yeah, um, we actually have two uh, two models of the DA6400. There's a DA6400 DP that does have dual power supplies. Dual power, but still AC only. AC, the, yeah. The, the dual power is two AC inputs. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Um, that's um, that's fantastic. Now this we can show a iPad app. There's some there, there's different ways of controlling this, right? Yeah. So um, like the SSR250, you can uh, put it on the Ethernet network, oh, and yeah. um, here we go. And uh, here is the iPad app. Try to get that in there. It's kind of like a cooking show in reverse. Yeah. Let me do this. By the that's way, I really easy. appreciate that our password <laughs> is, is now being broadcast. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hack Gotham. <laughs> so yeah, this is a, uh, a, a multi-track. And then uh, you can actually lock out the, um, so w once it's yeah, in record here. I'm going to flip here. this around. So if we cut back to the wide, we'll see that it's responsive to. Uh, yes. Components. So I can go into record. I can choose tracks to go in and out. There's uh, meters that show up here while it's recording. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can actually swipe this with two fingers, uh -huh. and it will lock out the uh, transport. So once you hit record, you can cover it up, and you won't be able to accidentally knock it out of record unless you swipe that back again and hit the, hit the record button. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, I know we mentioned that it's the same price as the DA88, but what is the street price for this? The street price is thirty-four ninety-nine, and that's no option card. So. That's with no option card. So okay. the option cards are anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars. Okay, but that does come with one drive. It comes with a drive and a caddy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, fantastic. Uh, I have to ask, um, because I th uh, I'm just curious, mm -hmm. um, if somebody did want to be um, foolish and put their own drive in the caddy, would, are they locked out from the firm? No, no, it, it still works fine. You, you will, yeah. It will give you enough rope. Right. All right. Yeah, just, um, you know, it's not, the, it's not the supported drive, but if you want to put, put in your own drive, you know, test it out overnight, hit record, right. you know, go home, come back the next morning if it's still good, then you're probably good. Sure. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm thinking like the two terabyte SSDs if somebody you know had some right. really long recording they needed to try out. Sure. But okay. Well, one one uh, one thing about this is that when you take out the drive and put it back in, it's it's ready to go in about fifteen or twenty seconds. So it's pretty quick at. Uh -huh. um, so you can just get multiple get drives and. Yeah, just just swap out the drive. Hopefully, you can find a 20, 20 second breather somewhere in the program. Yeah. Very good. Very uh, very cool. That's all. That's that's great stuff. Yeah. All right. Um, Jeff, thank you so much for coming Thank by. you. All right. Excellent. This was good. Um, all right. So any any questions from anybody watching? Any? Uh, yeah, there's, there's one question uh -huh. from, um, from Andrew. And it's uh, more about uh, field recorders. If Tascam's looking to be making any new field recorders? Uh, yeah, n nothing to announce right now, but uh, that's that's always something that we're updating. The latest um, portable recorder that we came out with was the DR100 Mark III, uh, which is more of a handheld format with uh, built-in microphones and, and, and XLRNs. But um, you know, we're always working on the next uh, next generation, so stay tuned. And um, in terms of development on the HSP82. Uh, it's still it's it's still available, yeah. and um, we came out with a update maybe a year ago mm -hmm. um, that that was based on user feedback. So um, other uh, you know if if people have requests, then uh, send them in. We watch all of that, and just we you know we need to prioritize the um, engineering based on requests. So if one person asks for it. Um, maybe something else would get a higher priority, but if, if we get a lot of requests for something, we, uh, we make it happen. Uh, I'm going to get on my request pulpit, okay. um, and uh, I'm going to encourage the film sound people that are interested in this to also request it. Sure. Um, by the way, where do, where do people send requests to? Um, you can just contact our, uh, our support line for the HSP82 just on our website or call in, and uh, all that gets uh, sent back to our engineers. Um, I good. I would like to see uh, an updated digital mixer, and I'd love to see it DC powered. Okay. That is, um, I think that you guys would do really well. All right. Um, That's a little more than a software update. But uh, it's a huge. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, ta I'm talking um, for, sure. in terms of products. Okay. Um, you know, um, yeah, I know, like the the DM3200 and the DM4800. Right. The, I mean, they were great. Mixers in their, yeah, they in their were. day, yeah. Um, and I, and um, I I wish to see other digital mixers from you guys that and, mm -hmm. and consider DC powering them, um, you know, so that they're like a smaller form factor that you can get away with, but um, for cart use. Sure. I mean, obviously that's our sort of um, bias here. Right. Um, but there is a huge hole for for that. I think. That's that's good to hear. So I'll I'll pass that along. Cool. Um, Thank you. I hope, <laughs> I hope that wasn't too uncomfortable. No. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I've committed on the live stream to build a mixer. <laughs> um, uh, as always, visit our archives at GothamSound.tv and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest news and send ideas or questions or comments or derisive insults to info at GothamSound.com. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.